for equity efforts. Let me be clear. There is no place at the USDA for discrimination, none, nor for that matter, anywhere. This historic moment to advance equity must not be lost. And I intend to do everything I can to ensure that it isn't. With those opening remarks, USDA Secretary Tom Vilsack laid out his plan for addressing decades-old claims of discrimination by the United States Department of Agriculture as he appeared before the House Agriculture Committee. We all are very pleased to have the opportunity today to examine this topic, which is deeply embedded in each of our hearts, both Democrats and Republicans, care about the plight of our Black farmers. The virtual hearing was held to learn how the Biden administration will use $4 billion allocated from the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 as part of the $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package. These funds were set aside to relieve some of the debt being experienced by socially disadvantaged farmers and farmers of color. One of the motivations behind the infusion of cash is to help to level the playing field for a shrinking number of black farmers. According to USDA's 2017 Census of Agriculture, only 1.4% of all farmers in the U.S. are black. Black farmers don't trust the United States Department of Agriculture, which has uh, re really hurt us in participation, and, and, and it's because of all the discrimination that I and others have, have faced. Dr. John Boyd, president of the National Black Farmers Association, has been speaking out about inequality and racism by USDA employees since before the landmark Pigford versus Glickman discrimination case was decided in the late 1990s. Despite the settlement, accusations of discrimination continue to be leveled at the department. But at the end of the day, this whole purpose is to try to get this done as quickly as possible, as effectively as possible, and to provide uh, farmers enough information and outreach so they can make informed decisions about their direct loan and the tax implications, and we can settle up their guaranteed loan without any further disruption. An additional $1 billion has been set aside to create a racial equity commission that will address longstanding discrimination across USDA. For Market to Market, I'm John Torpy.